How you doing? I'm okay. Thanks for coming. Thank you. You're in this uh, this big Meg Ryan film. Did you hang I'm with big, her a, a lot? Big picture. Yeah. Um, no, but she did ask me to do um, yoga constantly. She would always call and ask me to do yoga, but I I haven't taken her up on it. Why not? Well, I'm not really um, a yoga sort. I don't really like breathing with other people at the same time. <laughs> like a lot yeah. of breathing. It's creepy, right. right? Yeah, but I do other things right. like what, other what like health attempts. Um, well, at someone's recommendation, I went to this place and it was a, uh, a week-long fast of all liquids. It's a place called We Care. You can find it on WeCare.com. We, say it We Care? Like, We Care about you, about your health, about your fast. <laughs> yeah. As long as the your check well clears, we care right. about you. <laughs> yeah. Um, and what, they, they take away food from you for a week and you can drink yeah, liquids? Yeah, but it's supposed to be really, it's supposed to be like really um, healing or cleaning or cleansing. I don't know what people are into these days, really. Right. But, um, but so I went and I imagined that it was going to be lots of like smoothies and massages. But in fact, it's more like you have lemon water, lemon water tea. Then you get a soup that's sort of like the exorcist pea soup at the end of the night. Right. And a lot of enemas is what the thing is, when it, which I was not aware of the enemas. I'm not like an enema type. I who, wouldn't, is an, yeah, who is an enema I'm not type? Sure. Apparently there's plenty of there's, them. This no, place there is aren't crowded. People like, you know, get me as many enemas as much I, as possible all I, the time. You might not think so. But, you know, we live in New York. I mean, it's a big country. Right. And, um, okay, I was wrong to say that there aren't people out there who want enemas constantly. I apologize. Yeah. But so, I, so I'm on your side. Though. So this I, well, is a place I, where you pay to have this done to you. You pay. You pay. It's like a, you pay for torture. I, I don't know. It's like a cult. It sounds like. It sounds weird. Uh, thanks for telling me now. I don't know <laughs> where you were. Yeah. Like three weeks ago. Um, and but really, I found myself like no massages. Right. No smoothies, but like running from the enema specialists. Right. Constantly. Constantly. Like no, no, it's okay. I just, She's trying to lasso you yeah. with the hose, yeah. It's cool. Um, <laughs> now, did you... I'm clean. You're not, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want to hear that, all right? Um, you're not having a great time, because like, someone told me you had a mishap of some kind before you came to New York to visit. Yeah, well, no, I didn't visit because I live here, but I was visiting Los Angeles, and, um... And out in Los Angeles, I lost myself on the last night in L.A. I thought it would be really fun to, like, run by the ocean, and, Why? um... Just ru oh, run by the waves or something? Yeah, like run in the waves. It's L.A. Right. There's no concrete, you know. Right, and, right. and then um, I guess my cell phone must have fallen out of my pocket. So I get back to New York. I'm trying to get my cell phone back, and I, I call up. I dial my own number. And I have a lot of spare time. And I, I dial my own number. And, and this woman picks up, and she's like, hola. And I said, oh, so you have my cell phone. I, I, I want my cell phone back. I'm going to give you a drop-off point. I said, I know, it's a phone, you know. And... She didn't know what I wanted from her, she, and then um, I realized I dialed the wrong number. I feel really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you didn't start screaming at her. You have my phone! I kind of, I tried to sort of actually mellow out what I did say to her. I, I was a little bit ferocious with the poor lady. So you don't have, your, you're without a cell phone in New York City, uh -huh. which is difficult. I guess, but it's also kind of uh, freeing. Because there's like a certain sense of like spontaneity you get. You can just like you know get on the subway for no reason at all. You don't know if people are trying to reach you. You have tons of spare time. People don't really. You keep need to mentioning reach you have a lot of spare time. <laughs> <laughs> I um, hope everything's okay. So what? What do you? I'm fine. I mean, I'm an actor. No right. one needs to reach me. It's not right. that important, you know. Right. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. Um... I like it's a refreshing viewpoint. <laughs> That's a nice, that's a nice attitude you have. Hey, well, so what do you do uh, with well, all this I free do, time in New York? What do I'll you do? I'll go see like um, three movies in a row, for example, is what I'll do. And I don't know if someone's trying to reach me in the middle or anything, but right. you know, so I'll go see them and then, and then I guess, you know, I'll go to uh, Lincoln Center, mm -hmm. which is, um, they show a lot of like great uh, silent movies there, which is, I really like silent movies. I really like it actually when, right when silence ended and uh, they started with talkies, that period. Right. So um, I'll go there and they usually have, uh, they usually double feature. So at halftime, or whatever they call it in the movie world, I, um... I think that's what it is, halftime. I'm pretty sure it is halftime. There's a buzzer that goes yeah. off, and everyone, yeah. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> so then, um, so then, so then I, I, I find that, like, I'm, you know, I'll be in a trench coat, smoking a cigarette. Juilliard is right there, and I like to watch the students, because I know that they're really talented. You know, they're all, like, probably singing and dancing and stuff. See, when I put on a trench coat and watch kids, I'm asked to leave. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> It doesn't last a long time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you, out. Yeah, it's, probably, it's probably not that healthy. But it's cool. <laughs> I, I do it sometimes in Washington Square Park too, because then you can find the NYU students down there. And you just look at and you just look at students. It's a great school. Congratulations. Wow, they were pro Taliban too. Uh -huh. uh, I, <laughs>
And you cannot, and, and, and what are you, you're just looking at students, but you must get recognized. I mean, you're, you're well known. Not so much in the trench coat with the creepy shades. You know, creepy shades and the So you're, are you stalking people? I only followed a guy home once from the theater. And the truth is, the truth is I just seen in the bedroom. Call the police. <laughs> yeah. <What>? Don't. <laughs> I'm um, sorry, um, but I only, uh, but I was, I saw in the bedroom, which is like a psychological thriller, and yeah. he was seeing Mulholland Drive, which was a David Lynch movie, so I figured that maybe, you know, something So you might followed happen. a guy, you're wearing a trench coat and glasses. And it was only a couple of blocks, and I had seen, you know, that was my third movie that day, so right. I was, you know, really not in the same place, and, um. It's, people are supposed to stalk you, that's the weird thing. I Traditionally, that's how it works. I am looking for stalkers, it's, it's funny <laughs> right. you bring well, it up. Yeah, okay. It's, you don't want to say that. Oh. <laughs> I'd like one too, though, actually. Really? Yeah. It's depressing when no one cares. Uh, Kate and Leopold. To make a deal. Uh, yeah, if you stalk me, uh -huh. I'll stalk you. I'll meet you at halftime at the next movie. Um, Kate and Leopold, this is you and Meg Ryan, opens uh, next Friday. Yeah, it's a hell of a picture. Go see it. It's a hell of a picture, kids. <laughs> I <laughs> love that. Hey, uh, come by again, though. All it was right. really nice talking Thank to you. Thank you. You yeah. too, Kyle. Natasha Leon.